2023 was an exciting year for cinema. It was full of irreplicable, big and massive events, but it was also full of the small, touching stories that were a nice contrast to the blockbusters. But just like everything in life, 2023 has come to an end and that gives way to a new year. And what a new year is this going to be? I mean, it looks super exciting. So today I want to talk to you about the films that I'm looking most forward to and I just can't wait to watch and just gobble up. Okay, so the first film has the biggest teaser of teasers teased ever. <laughs> is Bong Joon-ho's next film, director of Parasite and Snowpiercer. The trailer is literally just one long sequence of Robert Pattinson in some sort of chamber. That's it. It looks friggin' awesome. I wanna watch it yesterday. What is it even about? The movie's called Mickey 17, and it follows this human that goes on this exploration to conquer a new planet. And, well, they die. They are regenerated in what I assume is that chamber, and with their memories intact and everything else is pretty much a mystery so you know i'm pretty excited to see what what, what happens just bear in mind the film has been undated so fingers crossed hopefully it still comes out this year okay the next film is a bit of a given but it's dune part two okay i'm not the only one who's excited for this the first film was great and the film before that the david lynch version well my father showed it to me first like in the 90s with like an old VHS tape uh, the quality I don't even remember the quality I don't even remember anything about that movie but all I remember was the vibes oh the vibes and the vibes in these new films are insane I mean it's just like <laughs> Timothy Chalamet giving you that look and Zendaya actually I don't think Zendaya says much it's just staring I'm excited, I'm here for it. And not only that, uh, we've got new actors coming in. We've got Florence Pugh, and we got Austin Butler, and we got Christopher Walken, you know? <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do in it, but you know, a little bit of Christopher Walken, ain't bad. All right, the next movie in this list is a bit different. It's more relaxed, a bit less have fun kind of vibes. And it's called Lisa Frankenstein, and it's directed by Zelda Williams, yes? That's Zelda Williams, daughter of Robin Williams. So I'm really excited to see what she makes. The film is based in 1989 and it follows this teenager who has a crush on a corpse. <laughs> a handsome corpse, you know, if that makes things better. And the corpse actually comes back to life and then craziness ensues. So it's a whole wacky adventure. Um, if you liked the vibrancy and comedy of Barbie or Bottoms, well then, yeah, this is definitely something that's going to interest you too. Plus, we like a bit of Zach, you know. Cody. Next is number four and it's by A24 and it's called Civil War and it's directed by Alex Garland, the director of Ex Machina and Annihilation and actually it's going to be the biggest budget A24 films have ever made. It's a whopping 75 million which I mean it's not that much if you compare it to films like Tenet or uh, The Marvels but if you compare it to Everything Everywhere All at Once, another A24 film, that was 25 million. So you know things have exponentially grown. So I'm really excited to see what they do with that budget and what happens. The story is based in the near future and it follows a group of journalists that are documenting the United States, which is on the brink of a civil war. And the atmosphere, ooh, the atmosphere looks so tense and, and, and nerve-wracking. I, so For some reason, I just want to go to the cinema and just be on edge the whole time. What, I, is that normal? <laughs> I don't know. Now I just want to talk about the movies that have no trailers, but the director or the title alone is enough to be hyped about. The first one is Nosferatu, and it's by Robert Eggers, the director of The Lighthouse and The Witch. And so you know that something unsettling is going to come up uh, in this movie. Show me the trailer. I want to see what's up. I'm excited for this. And in the documentary sphere of things, there's going to be a spiritual sequel to Boy State which is going to be called Girl State. Whilst the first film sort of followed what would happen if democracy was in the hand of teenage boys, this film would follow what would happen to democracy if it was in the hands of teenage girls. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And lastly, Francis Ford Coppola is back. Apparently he's been cooking, okay, because this film is years in the making, it's self-funded, and it's called Megalopolis. I mean, no matter what you think of the guy, what your opinion is, he has sort of directed Apocalypse Now and the Godfather trilogy. So he's an icon in cinema. I'm just curious to see if he's still got a game. Okay, now back to films with trailers. The next film is called Damsel, and it stars, you know, the face of Netflix, Millie Bobby Brown. It's, of course, about a damsel in distress, 
but a badass damsel in distress. It's such a simple way to subvert your expectations with just a title. So the film follows a general fairy tale storyline. A princess is to be married to a prince, but is instead sacrificed to a dragon. I love it when women stop being described as a victim. And this film not only does that, but it gives the women a bigger sword to fight a dragon. So I'm excited. It's a niche, but it's kind of my favorite genre. A uh, side note, I'm sure you've noticed that the movies I'm talking about are sort of big, you know, blockbuster type movies. The smaller indie films tend to grow in popularity closer to the release date or even after the release date. I'm sure a lot of hidden gems are going to pop up this year. So if you're sort of interested in that kind of thing, then you know you can subscribe. Now I have some honorable mentions that I'm still excited for. So we've got Joker 2 and it's called uh, Folie à Deux which means folly for two, or it's also known as shared psychosis, which means, you guessed it, Harley Quinn, and check out who's playing her. Yep, Lady Gaga. Ooh, I can't wait to see. Some might even call it a bad romance. <laughs> then there's the new John Krasinski film. He's been doing horrors like A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place Part 2, but now he's completely changed genre and he's doing something cute and adorable. It's called If. It's about this little girl who has an imaginary friend and you know I can't wait to see the little adventures they go on. The next is Adam Sandler's next movie and he's in a serious role again and I know Uncut Gems was sort of received with mixed reactions but I loved it. The chaos was crazy and he was you know really good in it. The movie's called Spaceman and it has a very odd atmosphere but be warned okay there is a giant alien spider in it. So I know I'm going to be like that emoji. I hate spiders. They're nasty. Oh, and then there's the new Kung Fu Panda 4 movie coming out. I love those movies to bits. And I really can't wait to get back into the little world and just listen to Jack Black being Jack Black. And for all of you Pixar fans out there, Inside Out 2 is coming out. So keep an eye out for that. By the way, let me know if there's any films that I've missed that you're excited for. You know, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to add your films to my radar. More films, the better. Can I watch all those films? Another film I'm super curious about is The Book of Clarence. I mean, there's a black Jesus, black everything. Plus, I mean, it's got Lakeith Stanfield, which, I mean, it's Lakeith Stanfield. And RJ Seiler, whom I loved in Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. And it's got Omar Sy, who starred in a great French film, The Untouchables. So, great cast. Then this full guy, for everybody who liked Ryan Gosling and Oppenheimer and Emily Blunt in Barbie. And very quickly, there's a new Godzilla X Kong movie where they're best buds now. And then there's Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, which is going to be a hell of a ride. And then there's a new Alien movie coming out, which has a baby on the poster. All right, uh, there's so many movies I could talk about, but you know, gotta end the video somewhere.